everybody knows of the luxurious four-wheel drive car by Toyota, the Land Cruiser. And with each year, Toyota seems to make it more and more luxurious. However, the 300 series of the Toyota Land Cruiser is exciting. Some people even ask whether such a four-wheel drive needs this much off-road capability. This is the series to look for if you're planning to go into the wilderness, and even though it has not been on the market for too long, it's gaining a lot of fame. But what does Toyota have in store for the 2023 Land Cruiser 300? Let's find out, shall we? Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll look at the 2023 Toyota Land Cruiser 300. But before we continue, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on your favorite cars. And with that, let's find out what's new with the 2023 Toyota Land Cruiser 300. By the time you're probably watching this, you've already seen all there is to the Land Cruiser's past and reputation. And we can all agree that it has a reputation for being hard as nails and having the ability to go anywhere. Therefore, there's no need for a history lesson. Instead, Toyota's SUV has seen a new version released recently with a lot to offer. We're talking about new engines, an all-new platform, and a knee-buckling weight of expectation that it will build on the luxury and terrain-conquering credentials of its forebears. The changes that have been made to the most off-road focused model in the LC300 lineup, which is the 3.3 liter V6 turbo diesel in the GR Sport, are worth a look. When it comes to the GR Sport guys, the LC300 is a direct link to the past while looking to the future. This has all been rolled into a fantastic package. The GR Sport has seen some specific improvements, some of them being modifications to the suspension arm placement and shock absorbers, revised bumper designs, and the adoption of the electronic kinetic dynamic suspension system, and electronic differential locks. We shall see more about that later. At the front, the gaping honeycomb grill with the word Toyota and GR Sport decals will definitely have a fewer bystanders turning their heads to look at you as you drive by. The exterior has also been given some neat touches, including gray 18-inch alloy wheels and black finishes for the wheel arches, door handles, mirrors, and rocker moldings. The cabin has also been made a bit sportier with some upholstery and decals for the steering wheel and seats explicitly made for this model. Long story short, there's very little to complain about when it comes to the model's style. The seats have been comfortably contoured, and there's enough front and back space. However, the third row is only large enough to fit children and occasional adult passengers. But all in all, the perceived quality is pretty impressive. When you take a look at the, some of the features offered on the LC300, they have all been kept quite simple. There's keyless entry and go, multi-zone climate control, park distance control, and a multi-terrain monitor, which uses a bank of camera feeds to stream a comprehensive picture of the terrain conditions. All this is displayed on a 12.3-inch smartphone-enabled touchscreen infotainment system. There's no denying that there are a few things more appealing than the throaty burble coming from the rumbling of an 8-cylinder engine in the SUV. However, if you look at the cruiser's evolution, you'll realize that the new 3.3-liter V6 turbo diesel is in no way a step backward. The new unit gives off about 225 kilowatts of power and 700 Nm of torque from just 1600 revs per minute. This is much better than the outgoing 4.5 liter V8 turbo diesel, which produces about 195 kilowatts of power and 650 Nm of torque. The top speed is still 210 kilometers per hour, with enough power to take it from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in about 8.23 seconds. This is quite impressive given that this unit has to carry about 2.4 tons. When it comes to fuel efficiency, we can say that for such a large car, it's quite efficient. It's been recorded to use about 11.15 liters of fuel for 100 kilometers. Given the size of the vehicle, this is very reasonable. This was recorded at the pump and it was tested over a variety of terrain. This includes slow technical off-roading, highway cruising, and urban commuting. As with Toyota's newer offerings, the 2023 Land Cruiser 300 comes with one of the group's TNGA Toyota New Global Architecture platforms. To be more specific, it's the TNGA-F, which denotes a ladder frame based take on the modular underpinnings. This is a setup that perfectly combines the strengths of a traditional ladder frame SUV chassis, which offers great torsional integrity for such hardcore off-roading requirements 
as enhanced axle articulation with those of the TNGA platform, which has a modularity-driven reduction in production costs and an improved architecture that results in a 200 kilo reduction in weight over the last model. The updated suspension is one of the most interesting updates to the GR Sport model. It comprises a high-mounted double wishbone front and trailing link rigid axle rear setup all of which have been complemented by adaptive dampers and the EKDSS, Electronic Kinetic Dynamic Suspension System. The latter mainly works by modulating the actions of the front and rear anti-roll bars between normal intervention, which counters body roll under spirited on-road driving and lessened engagement in heavier off-roading to allow for greater axle articulation when required. You'll enjoy both an old school and new school driving experience when you're behind the wheel. Anyone who has spent some time behind the wheel of the previous model can confirm that the new car's handling characteristics are not that far off from the previous model. In simpler terms, this means that the Land Cruiser 300 does not handle with the aplomb of a monocoque-bodied SUV when it's pressed hard. The 2023 Toyota Land Cruiser 300 comes with hydraulically-assisted steering, which is pretty light. In addition, its body control is as expected of a ladder chassis with considerable suspension travel and it moves towards the floaty side. However, the new underpinnings make it feel more composed and alert than its predecessor, but all in all, it remains an eminently comfortable and refined drive. That suspension will effortlessly soak up road scars that would make many of its rivals shudder. It has very smooth shifts thanks to the 10-speed automatic transmission and NVH that is impressively suppressed at highway speeds. When it comes to going off-road, it feels pretty unstoppable. The multi-terrain select system tailors the throttle, transmission, suspension, and traction management systems within the parameters of six presets. These are auto, dirt, sand, mud, deep snow, and rock. On the other hand, the GR Sports EKDSS system works hard to keep all four wheels in contact with the ground for as long as possible. The SUV maximizes available traction with electronically locking differentials in the front and rear. The LC300 also comes with off-road assistance systems, and they do a great job of shielding the occupants from what's going on under the cruiser's wheels. Even when you have the EKDSS engaged, which mostly keeps the anti-roll bars in their most yielding setting, those ruts and bumps that you usually brace yourself for seem tamped flat under the cruiser's hefty frame without the anticipated jostling. This is a car that takes its name, Cruiser, literally. And even with all these fantastic features, you can still count on the SUV when it comes to safety. The majority of the 300 series lineup has received a 5-star and cap rating. Not only that, but the new Land Cruiser 300 received the second highest score to date for vulnerable roads user protection under the 2020-2022 protocols. The Cruiser scored 81% and 89% for occupant protection. In a world where change is all too often done for the sake of change, it is both refreshing and relieving to see that the new Land Cruiser has stayed true to the winning formula used by its forefathers. Toyota has made sure to refine only what needs to be polished. There's no denying that some large SUVs will show the LC300 a thing or two on twisting blacktop, but very few of them can balance practicality, luxury, and off-road ability in quite the same way. And once you add in what seems like bomb-proof mechanicals, it is of little wonder why the Cruiser has managed to stay at the top for a very long time. What do you think of the 2023 Toyota Land Cruiser 300? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, before you go, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on your favorite cars. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.